honestly there were times where I just like you know my days were dark guys but I got a video out <laughs> To our headquarters revolution gang if you haven't subscribed yet then make sure that you click the subscribe button below and join the revolution before we get started with this video i would like to give a post notification shout out to phoenix mzulwini thank you so much for all the love you show my channel you are a superstar two seconds later i'm sitting on a bad boy piece of information sometimes i feel like quitting youtube what what kind of is that the truth is, there have been many times where I've literally considered being like, you know what, this video is going to be my last video and I'm just, I can't keep doing this. Yo guys, I wish someone had told me before I started that doing YouTube is hard. Like it is hard physically, it's not hard, it's the word is difficult, English please. Because hard is like, this thing is solid, it's hard and difficult is like the level of like difficulty. Uh. It is emotionally difficult, it is physically difficult, it is mentally difficult, it is financially difficult, it can be financially difficult, it is financially difficult actually. Okay, make up your damn mind. I want to start off the first half of this video by getting into what are some of the hardships I deal with as a YouTuber and these are things that are really like, they get to me guys, like on, uh, depending on the day, they really make me want to put my camera down and just... I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I ain't coming over here no more. The first thing I want to talk about is the hate comments. Oh my goodness. You know what, man? Everybody wants their YouTube channel to grow. We do. We want it to grow. But one thing that you don't think about or that you or I think that you're never truly ready for is the hate comments. I get so many hate comments and don't get me wrong, the beautiful comments, the happy ones, they far outweigh the hate comments. But you know how we are as humans, we're like 10 people can say to you, you look so gorgeous today, but let one person be like, why are you wearing that? And it's gonna literally mess up your whole day. You know what I mean? And even when it comes to ourselves, like we will do really great for like a whole week and let us mess up for one day. And we are gonna go so hard on ourselves and be like, you know what? I'm a loser and I don't deserve anything nice. I repeat that in Jesus name, me, I'm not a loser, please. And that's the same thing with hate comments. This whole thing of like, if what people say, I don't care what other people say, it's so not true. I don't believe there's a person who doesn't care what other people say. I think that you get to a point where you are able to better filter those things out. Like for instance, one time someone commented on my video telling me that they wish I could get deported out of America and be deported back to South Africa because South Africans are xenophobic and they do that to other Africans. And I loved that comment, right? Because I was like, that's messed up, like that's dark. Like it was funny, honestly, it was kind of funny. And I loved the comment, but I was frustrated at the fact that this person came to my video and commented this when I have spoken out against xenophobia on YouTube, on Instagram. And this person is telling me that South Africans are all xenophobic and they hope I get deported. And it's crazy because the same way xenophobic South Africans group and judge foreign people is the same way he was grouping and judging me. Isn't that ironic? You know what I mean? So I was frustrated by that and honestly I think that the stupid comments are actually more frustrating than the than the mean comments. At least mean comments are meant to be mean. But have you ever had someone come and comment a stupid thing guys and you as the content creator, you as the YouTuber have to hold yourself to a higher standard. I can't go into my comments and diss every person who disses me and fight with every person who fights with me. No, it's not good for my image, it's not good for my brand. At the end of the day when judging comes publicly I will be judged for being mean to people in the comments but the person who is commenting is not the one who's gonna catch like the smoke for it you understand one thing I must say is YouTube is really good with like filtering them out so but let me explain so like I see most of the comments in my email I get emails that let me know of people who commented and then I also see comments in my YouTube studio which has like all my YouTube information so sometimes you might find that I'll get an email where I see a hate comment some of my hate comments include people telling me I'm ugly in the video I did um, with the language tag with Alda and Angie there were people who were like I'm the gorilla in the middle the ugly girl in the middle I'm the duff like there were people saying all sorts of mean things 
things um but yeah so i will get emails letting me know that that's what people are saying then when i go to youtube studio youtube has already filtered the comment and gotten rid of it so i've received all sorts of just hate comments you sound weird and stuff like that now can you imagine guys someone telling you that you're ugly and you sound horrible on youtube like the whole premise of youtube is you are in front of a camera recording yourself your face your voice and if people get to convince you that you're ugly and you sound horrible you'll put your camera down like there are times where you get comments and you're able to laugh it off and be like damn but sometimes there's one or two comments that do creep in that do make you think but do i sound weird but am i this but am i that and you really just have to tell yourself you know what i reject it like i'm not gonna let one person from i don't know where who's dealing with i don't know what come and be my bully and make me put down my camera now this topic of hate comments leads me to my next point which is insecurity Doing YouTube can literally cause so much insecurity in your life because you are dealing with hate comments. So someone will be like, oh my gosh, you have the biggest nose. And you might read that comment, take it in, and now you feel insecure about your nose. Now, I personally haven't had anything like that, but I mean, it does happen to quite a few people where people just bring down your confidence. It just brings about this insecurity that never existed before, you understand? Or it actually like perpetuates or makes worse an insecurity that you pretty much already had. Again, if you've always been insecure about your nose and then someone comments and says you have a horrible nose, like it'll further just reaffirm that insecurity that you had. I'm gonna take that to my next point and that is YouTube can really mess with your mental space guys like this numbers thing is so serious i think that is one of the most demotivating things about youtube and that is your numbers guys there are times where i personally have felt like i am as good as my numbers so if my youtube numbers are low i am not good enough you understand all oh, my videos are high all oh, my things are high oh that means i am good enough doing a video i don't know if you guys understand and if you have done any kind of video work you will understand coming up with a video concept is a lot of work finding the time to do it and then actually sitting down and translating what was in your head and doing it in person is a lot of work editing i hate editing yo one day when i'm rich and I have a lot of money and i can trust people I will definitely get someone to edit my work because oh I don't enjoy editing it is so time consuming putting it out there doing the promo answering comments all of this stuff is so much work you can imagine that when you put in your heart and soul into something and you get 10 views that thing is not nice guys that, that thing is painful eh? <laughs> speaking of editing is a lot of work etc etc we all know that in YouTube consistency is key i think in all social media consistency is key along with quality but consistency guys how many of you have youtubers that you watch loyally and sometimes they disappear for like a month or two months and then they'll come back after two months post one video and then disappear again for a month there are so many people who when i started my youtube journey i met so many other people who were also starting their journeys and so many of them now are no longer youtubers some of them are still youtubers but they literally post like once a year once a month you know what i mean and i'm not even saying that to judge them i'm not judging because being consistent is so difficult guys like when i had my breast reduction surgery i was literally in pain like 24 7 pain i really couldn't do much i couldn't get up to go get my own food but i still made sure that i got a video out earlier this year i was hella sad guys like i think i was depressed in fact I went through a really terrible time this year and last year I had some of the worst years of my life I got a video out every single week despite feeling like my life had no hope and no meaning like honestly there were times where I just like you know my days were dark guys but I got a video out understand that i am a college student as you guys know i'm an a student and i'll continue being an a student in jesus name amen i have i believe four jobs and i do youtube and also i'm a campus leader i'm the president of an honor society i'm the president of all these things i'm hosting events on campus i'm going to meetings go watch my vlog where i show you a week in my life and see how busy my life can get but despite all of that i have posted a video 
every single Wednesday. For the last three years, I have posted a video every single Wednesday, except in December when I take a break. So unless I'm on my break time, I post a video every single Wednesday. And recently, as you guys have seen, I started posting on Mondays. I post Black Excellence on Sundays when I have the videos. Like, I don't think you guys understand how much work that is. I work so hard to be consistent and consistency is not easy. There have been times where I've had to sit, like right now, I don't feel very good about myself. Like I don't feel very visually confident. I don't appreciate how I look right now, but I'm sitting here. I'm recording this video on Tuesday. I'm gonna watch this video on Wednesday, like tomorrow, but I'm sitting here, I'm recording this. I don't feel very confident, but regardless of how I feel, I have to get done what I have to get done and get this video out because I'm committed. Look, YouTube takes so much commitment, dedication, discipline. The next point I want to talk about, and this is my last one, is have you guys ever heard those YouTubers be like, guys, start your channels, you know, we'll support you, you're gonna be great, just start that channel. And then when you start the channel on Twitter, you'll see them be like, oh my gosh, you with your 200 subscribers, don't talk to me. YouTube is just a hobby because you're never gonna go anywhere there. YouTube has so many mean girl clicks and by mean girl I don't mean it's limited to women but I'm just saying it has so many mean girl clicks and people want to make you feel like you are not good enough as a person because you don't have as many subscribers as them. They literally make you feel like you are beneath them, like you are not worth your time because you don't have as many subscribers. They will treat you as if you are your subscribers, like you are as good as how many subscribers you have or how many views you have. They don't see you as a person. They don't see how good your work is. They don't see how much quality you put into your work, how good your editing is, how good you are in front of camera. Like they don't see the quality of your work, you know? They're, I mean, so many people complain that SA YouTube is all the same and people are all doing the same kinds of content. But when you do do different content, like people don't see you, people don't want to invest in it, you know what I mean? And I think that's something that's really difficult is just the clicks and also people follow popularity and not talent. And I don't mean all the time, but a good amount of people follow popularity and not talent. Starting a YouTuber as someone who has very small or little social media presence or you don't have a high following can be very difficult and the most frustrating thing is when you see someone who honestly is not good at what they do like they are not good at youtube they don't make good videos they don't put effort there's nothing unique they don't like there's nothing good about their channel but because they've got that clout and those followers like they will have this big youtube channel and another thing also about the youtube space is being someone who tries to collaborate as much as i can i've made some really amazing friends like youtube has literally got me such amazing friends because of collaborations and stuff but at the same time i've also met some really horrible cloud chasing people like i got a taste of what that world is like and how cloud chasing people are and how they behave and how fake they are and it, it is disgusting and it's not me like i i'm not fake and i don't have time for nonsense and i don't like wasting my time i don't like rubbish I don't like ingenuine people and I'm not going to twirl and dance for daddy. Daddy, daddy watch me twirl. Daddy, watch me. Nevertheless guys, she persisted. Nevertheless, she released a video. Nevertheless, she came on camera. Even if she was crying a few minutes before, she came on camera and said, Hi guys! Even if her life was in shambles, she said, Hi guys! Even when she had no energy, she said, Hi guys! Even when she was sick, she said, Hi guys! Even when she was demotivated, she said, Hi guys! One thing about this hun, she will say, Hi guys! And put in the work. So, to the end of this video, I don't want to end off with just like on a negative note and talking about all the things that I don't like about YouTube or whatever. Um, but I do want to end off with giving some real hardcore tips for those of you who really do want to pursue a YouTube channel. Like, this is going to be some hardcore truth. I'm sorry if it hurts your feelings. Let's get started. Number one is you have to actually have something to offer. You have to think about are you actually going to make it? Are you interesting? Because some people go on camera and they're like, Hi guys, today we're going to read. I like to read a lot. Do you? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you have to be interesting. For you to make it on YouTube, I believe these are some of the things that you're going to need. You're either going to have to have a very vibrant, interesting personality. Even if your personality is not all that, you have to have some kind of interesting personality. And being interesting, by the way, doesn't mean being loud. It just means being interesting, being funny or whatever. 
but it's either you're gonna have to have a really good personality or you have really good content whether it's educational it's faith-based it's music it's whatever it is it has to be interesting content so either you have the personality or you have interesting content obviously both is great or another thing your editing has to be out of this world some people don't even talk in their videos but their editing and their filming is out of this world look at those three things and make sure that you work on them if you want to do youtube and you don't have to be perfect in all three but if you could have at least two out of three or if you could be really good at one out of three but those three things you have to consider you have to ask yourself do i have anything to offer the next thing is you can't be lazy you have to be willing to work hard and you have to be willing to work hard when you don't have motivation sometimes again you're not gonna get paid from the jump. It might take a long time to get paid. You have to have your own motivation that will keep you going despite being tired, despite not being paid, despite people telling you that you're a loser with your 200 views, despite you know only getting 20 views for a video. You have to be hardworking. You have to be dedicated. You have to be committed. The next thing is you have to shamelessly plug yourself. One thing about me, when I started YouTube, if you meet me, hi, I'm Benita, I'm a YouTuber. Subscribe to my channel. Let me show you, where's your phone? that was me anytime they're like introduce yourself oh yeah i'm a youtuber i would plug myself shamelessly plug myself damn near anywhere i went all the time and also get the people around you to be also you know used to plugging you like honestly the way some of the people around me think now like when they mention benita they'll be like oh yeah she's a youtuber and stuff like you just get people to think of you in that way and that's because that's how you assert yourself introduce yourself there's no room for you to be embarrassed if you're going to grow you cannot be embarrassed and that's my next point is make content that doesn't embarrass you because your content will be seen if you grow you need to make content that will allow you to still have a job when you go to work or go to school or it depends what kind of person you are what kind of life you're living but make content that you are not embarrassed about content that you can actually stand upon and to the next point is actually listen to people's feedback now one of the biggest problems i have with us as people is sometimes we are not good at giving feedback like if you go to someone and be like your channel is nonsense man like why does your sound suck so much don't be rude all you had to say was, hey, your sound quality on your videos is not so good. I think you should try and work on it. You don't have to say that whole long sentence before then. But as a content creator, you have to learn to filter through what people are saying. You have to learn to ignore the insult and listen to the criticism, the feedback. In that whole sentence, the person is trying to say, improve your sound. So you have to learn to take feedback from people who are not good at giving feedback. Points. So in the previous point, I stressed that you have to work hard. If you work hard, you will see results. But on the flip side, you may be very hardworking and your growth will still be slow. You may make amazing content, good quality, absolutely good editing, great personality, consistency, and your growth will still be slow. Just keep pushing, even when your growth is slow, even when you have two views. You know, one day you'll get to four views and then five. But you just have to keep going and understand that one day your hard work will pay off. And also you have to be willing to have a tough conversation with yourself where honestly and truly you look at your content, it's not that great. Your personality is not that great. Editing is not that great. Your views are just, nothing is really working. Have the honest conversation of your, with yourself to know that, you know what, I think I need to stop know when you need to stop know if you need to stop and i'm not saying now nah, I'm, I'm, uh, guys me i'm not saying go and stop your passion hey i'm saying do self-analysis and determine whether you need to stop or you need to improve and improve where you need to improve anyway so that's it from me i think it's been a very long video but i do hope that it's helped anyone who it has needed to help and while i may feel like quitting youtube i have no plans of quitting in the near future so you guys are still gonna deal with me for a little bit longer baby baby <laughs> anyway that's it for today guys i hope you like this video don't forget to comment like share and subscribe and i will be back with more videos Peace and love, guys.